In this video, I want to explain how to avoid the equation of a line from two given points. So these are two points, A and B. A has a coordinate of negative 5, negative 3, and B has a coordinate of 5, comma 9. So to write uh, the equation of the line, you should know basically two formulas, or the formulas would be given. The equation of a line is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So this is the formula for finding the equation of a line, where m is the gradient, which is y2 minus y1, which is the change in y divided by the change in x, x2 minus x1. So these formulas would be given. Uh, and for using this formula, we can find the equation of the line. So then we are going to check whether the equation of the line makes sense once we get the equation. So the first thing that we need to do is to label the points. So uh, as a rule of thumb, or by convention, uh, you don't need to follow this convention. The point on the left, let's name it as x1, y1. And the point to the right is x2, y2. So what we are saying is, Basically, x1 is 5, so let me write, it's better to write like this. x1 is negative 5, uh, y1 is negative 3. Uh, x2, it's also good to write like this, x2 is 5 and y2 is 9. So if you just know how to substitute in the formula, you can get the equation of the line. The first thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to figure out what is m. So I'll do m here. m is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So what is y2? Well, y2 is 9 take away. So this is y2 take away y1, which is take away negative 3 divided by x, x2 is 5 take away negative 10. It's always good to write correctly. So this is basically 9 take away negative 3. <clears throat> so 9 take away negative 3 is same as two negatives make it make it makes it positive. So this is 9 plus 3 or you can use a calculator and two negatives makes it positive. So 5 plus 5. I want to do without a calculator. So m is 12 over, this is 5, 12 over 10, which is 1.2. So the gradient of this line is 1.2. Okay, so now, so this is done. So let's now use this formula. So this formula says y minus y1, I'm going to apply in this formula. So y minus y1, what is y1? y1 is negative 3 is equal to the gradient, which is m. What is m? m we know is 1.2 times x take away x1, which is negative 5. Okay, so this, let's simplify this. So two negatives makes it positive. So this is y plus 3 is equal to 1.2 bracket x, two negatives again make it positive, x plus 5. Okay, so let us scroll this slightly up. So this, now to expand this, the right hand side. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply 1.2 times x, and you're going to also multiply 1.2 times 5. So I'll write the next step like this. y plus 3 is equal to 1.2 times x plus 1.2 times 5. So it's better to do more steps so that you don't do mistakes. So this is y plus 3. 1.2 times x is going to be 1.2x. And you can use a calculator. 1.2 times 5 is going to be 6. Okay, so now I want to write 
in the equation of a line can also be written in this form. So let me write the next form. This is called the gradient intercept form. So y is equal to mx plus c is the form that we want to write, where m is the gradient. I'll explain this graphically later on. And c is where the gra graph is going to cut the y-axis, so that's called the y-intercept. Okay, so so now I want I don't want this three years. So I'm going to take away three from this side. So you have to take away three from this side. So this and this gets cancelled. So the final equation is y is equal to 1.2x plus 3. Now what's the meaning of this? Let's understand why or let's confirm or check whether this equation is right. It's always good to check whether this equation is right. Okay, so the equation that we wrote, the equation that we wrote is y is equal to 1.2x. Let's make sense of this equation. What is the meaning of this? So is this equation right? So to confirm whether this equation is right, we need to get this point. That means this on this line, you've got two points. When x is negative 3, sorry, when x is negative 5, y should be negative 3 or is negative 3. And when x is 5, y should be 9. So let's put what happens when x is 5 in this equation. So let's say x is 5. And if we put this in this equation, your y value should be 9 if this equation is right. So let's confirm that. So this is y is equal to 1.2 times 5 plus 3. So use your calculator. This is how much 1.2 times 5 is going to be 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So we have confirmed when x is 5, y is 9. So this equation is right. So let's confirm this. When x is when x is negative 5, what should be y? When x is negative 5, y should be negative 3. So again, let's use this equation. Let's write the equation again. y is equal to 1.2x plus 3. Okay, and so let's substitute 5 in place of x. So this is 1.2 times negative 5 plus 3. And 1.2 times negative 5, use your calculator, is going to be negative 6 plus 3. And negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. So we have confirmed when x is negative 5, y is negative 3. Okay, now just for practice, let me make up a question. Say, <clears throat> let me make up a question. So let me draw a line, a line segment. So this is a line segment. Okay, let me make it darker and say this point is, uh, say, uh, 1 comma 8 sorry this is not uh, 8 so let me change that to 1.8 x is 1 y is 1.8 and when x is 5 y is 11 so we're looking at this line or line segments a this is A and this is B. Try to do this yourself. The gradient has to be negative. Okay. And then once you get the equation, try to put the x value in the equation and see whether you get the y value for both these points.